and welcome to my garden. I'm Elizabeth and I'm going to share with you today what I've been doing. I cleaned out the grow house yesterday. It was a bit of a jungle and because uh, you know the summer plants have finished and so I gave that a tidy and I'm going to show you what new plants I put in. I tidied up this side a bit more, pulled away some rubbish and I'm also going to put in some chives. So today is more about the chives. I'm going to move them from other garden beds that have uh, a bit old and overgrown and how you can actually renew them. And I'm going to put them in here. I had recorded something but it, the, the, the uh, camera just stopped on me so I have to now start again. Alright so I had a big bunch, all of it, and I have all that I've done is I have chopped the tops off my big bunch of chives that I did do and then the camera turned off. And just see how much I've got left and if it's in the ground or like I pulled it out it does you just do the same and with my digging out of the ground I actually managed to find a little baby plant so that's really good it's a little seedling uh, it's obviously self seeded and I'm excited about that because then I get a brand new plant out of that so I've just popped that in the water why I'm waiting. There is actually multiple little plants in there you can see but I'm actually going to keep them as some bunches and then in spring it should all take off and so all, uh, you can either store it or see if it'll just split apart so I'm going to just show you just sort of gently tug at it see what will come free something I like to do when I move plants is to wash the roots because Every garden bed has their little weed, not that I fuss too much about that, but I want to move this into a whole new area and I know where it was and what it had. And so just to slow down the weed movement, you know, I'm going to wash the roots a little bit. Okay, obviously you can't get rid of everything. Else I would like to do is share with you how I dry my seeds and my herbs so it's protected from the flies and the birds I've got it in the grow house because it's a good temperature even in winter it can be quite warm in here and I weed mat over the top because I have had my herbs bleach from the sun so that just gives it a tiny bit of shade but it dries really well so that might be something you like to do I just got it on the internet I saw it as a good opportunity. So right now, what do I have? I have some sunflower seeds drying in there. Let's have a look. I can show you the inside a little bit. So it just zips up. I've got a bit of a string to hold it from moving around. Let's see. Let's see. So we don't zips like that. And I just thought, oh, what a good idea. So instead of just dry, because I don't dry normal food like it was probably a meat drying thing. But I've got uh, sunflowers from my garden, really dried well now, and uh, I'll be able to put them back as new flowers. And I've got dandelion roots in here. I've dried, and I will roast them and make a nice tea out of that dandelion root. Well, that's my film for today. I hope you get something from that. Mm -hmm. 